Good afternoon, beautiful black people. As you can see, I've recently had a chance to snatch my edges and I can see my scalp again. But that's not why I'm here to talk to you today. I'm here to talk to you today because of several things that have come up in my email. It's real bright and outside. That come up in my email from clients that and phone calls from clients that I need to talk to y'all about. Okay, real quick. I'm going to go try to see if I can close this curtain because it's really bright in here and get my stand because this might be more than five minutes. So I want to put my phone up. I hope you all are having a lovely Sunday. Bear with me while I get my stand for my phone and come back over here and sit down. I'm always telling people to be prepared and I should have been prepared. But here we are. How are you today? Thank you. All right, let's talk about me because there was somebody that was, I read a post about people saying that um, black women are mean and, and, and I liked what they said because they said, well, no, maybe you know that you are acting entitled and black women don't have to take your shit. And sadly, I'm finding black women will do this to each other. So let's talk about how I do business. And that, I did also get a message this afternoon that I was a top-notch businesswoman because we accidentally sent someone a fixed candle instead of sending her an, a mini spell kit. We let her keep the candle. We do that when we make mistakes. Sometimes it happens. I could sit and sit and show you, but we by sitting about 60, 70 orders and I feel blessed and I'm grateful for you all doing that. My daughter helps me manage my business. Um, she does most of the packaging. The formulations are mine. Uh, mixtures are mine, but we, you know, I do get help with her packaging and, you know, inventory and different things like that. So she's essentially the store manager. So let me tell you about a couple of emails I got this morning and why I have some issues with them. And then I'm going to tell you about the phone calls I got this morning and yesterday. Got a phone, I got an email last week or maybe the week before from someone who placed an order, but they're not going to be at that address anymore on that Friday. I don't know about y'all, but when I get ready to move, I put my forwarding in for a specific date, usually the date that I'm leaving the premises. Forwardings in the U.S. Postal Service take two weeks to process. They tell you that at the post office. I don't know if you all have moved multiple times. If you have, hit the love button if you're aware of this policy. The policy is that you need to set up forwarding. So when this particular customer messaged me and told me that she wasn't going to be at the location where I sent her package after Friday, I sent her an email telling her to send me the new address. I never got that email. I'm going to meet my shipping deadlines unless it is absolutely uh, an extenuating circumstance. I'm traveling this week to Chicago, so all orders, um, hopefully um, my daughter's laptop died. And so we are borrowing um, a laptop so I can get back and configure and order a new one for her. Um, but she's going to keep putting the orders together. But as far as shipping... Um, We'll probably ship everything out on Friday, which will still leave us within our normal shipping range and times. We had about 20 some odd, 30 some odd orders that were processed this week that are going out this afternoon on my way to the airport because I'm going for my day job to work. I have one of those. So if you are going to order products and you're going to move, either you should probably wait until after you move or... Uh, contact me immediately with a new address and I'll do the best I can. But the bottom line is you should have a forwarding put on your stuff and your stuff should be forwarded to you. Understand that that will also slow down you getting your package because it's got to go to your post office where you used to live and it needs to be sent to the post office where you live now. That's something that's out of our shipping control. We have nothing to do with. That's the first thing. Then I got, um, y'all have to understand because this stuff is handmade and usually made to order. Now I'm going to turn around and show you all what we actually have on hand that's made. Those oils right there. Okay. Right now we've been making extra ones. And the reason why we've been making extra ones is for daughter of the moon. So of course, if you place an order and you've paid for it, we're going to take from what we have. And if not, we're going to make it for you and we're going to send it out. Probably even earlier than our shipping terms. In fact, what I did to help my daughter was I sat and went through all the orders I could easily pull and process those last night. So after she worked on 93 bottles of mini oils. Okay, we're human beings here. It's not a factory. This is not like our competition. We do not make 
uh, candles in a machine. We do order candles pre-made, but when it comes to those fixed votives, y'all, and bath bombs and soaps, we have to usually wait till the weekend to do those. That shouldn't be a big deal because we're still saying five to ten shipping days. So I don't, I don't understand why people don't read that. Then another email that I received was um, from somebody who said, I placed an order this morning, but then I noticed that there was some fraudulent activity on my account. So um, I guess she shut down her PayPal or something. Her order to me was not fraudulent. She admitted she placed the order. On the website, it says that all sales are final unless we can't fill it. Then, of course, we'll give you your money back. But if you place an order with me and it's handmade for you, um, I just want to know where they do that at. I want to know where just because you had an issue and I do feel sorry that you've had somebody hack into your account. But I want to know where somebody's going to give you your money back just because somebody else hacked your account when you made a legitimate purpose purchase. Looking at directions, Courtney requires 48 hours notice for reading. It never failed. Some of my clients booked same day readings. Says right there on the site, 48 hours, no same day readings. On mine, it says 72 hours. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not reading or doing any spell work for people this month because people simply don't get it. Um, one of the other things is I get a lot of questions from people like, I bought this and I don't know how to use this. Well, you really shouldn't be buying magic products that you don't know how to use. I've said it again and again. If you want to know about something before you buy it, that's great. There's a customer group. We answer questions. But there is also a formulations description and instructions on my website. And I'm not going to read for grown ass people. You all don't know. I have been five minutes from closing this website all week because of the behavior of certain clients. Um, this is not Amazon. You are not going to get your package in 48 hours. If you do, and that's another thing, you order oils one day, then you turn around and order some more the next day. Yes, we try to pull them, pack them and ship them together. That is actually can create a nightmare. Okay trying to figure out if you have a duplicate order. So we're not going to combine any orders anymore. We're just going to pay you paid to ship by weight. It's not going to matter. We're sending them out as they come in. I'm not going to try to keep combining orders for people. I need y'all to read. It's really important in magic. People think that you can't learn magic from a book, but you got to be able to read and follow instructions to be a magician. Then the next thing is these phone calls, you know, um, I know I see why a lot of online conjurers don't have a phone line for people to call them. OK, because I get uh, messages on Facebook and calls about, well, there's this man I was dealing with and I'm still, you know, in contact with him um, and I don't know what I should do. Well, either you need to shit or get off the pot. If you call yourself a magician, then what you should be doing is divining to find out what you need to do. You should not be calling me on a Sunday morning talking about, you know, somebody has been harassing you and all this other stuff. But you were going to go to his house to get some some of his personal belongings so you could do something with them. Then you admit that you have their personal belongings already. So you don't need to do that. People are looking for excuses. And when you're dealing with narcissistic people who are abusive, you need to do the mundane work as well as the magical. I asked this woman, if he is harassing you via text, uh, anybody, everybody calls me. But if somebody's harassing you via text, you should have been had a police report and a restraining order against that person. That person doesn't have to come to your home. You, you can file reports for harassment. So if you don't do the mundane stuff up front, that's like somebody saying, well, I killed somebody. Can you give me a court case candle? Really? Tired of this. If you don't read it, and I'm posting this not only on my page, but I'm posting it in my customer group too. I'm going to ignore your question. Um, if you send me some something, some some foolishness, I'm going to ignore your email. As long as I am in the shipping policies that I have stated on my website. As long as I have provided the product that I said I would, that is good. That's all I have to do. Now. 
A lot of people want something for nothing, too. You want to call me and get advice, but you don't want to pay for a spell work or wait for one now since I'm not doing one until October. You don't want to wait for a spell work consultation? Go to somebody else that will give you one, okay, if you can't wait. Or at least be willing to pay for one. You know, you here you are messaging me about a, uh, about what to do about somebody, but you practice magic. You haven't divined on it. I just wanted to call and, you know, just get, um, somebody said a witch backup or support. I'm like, that's what they make Facebook groups for. I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to cheer you on. Okay. I will tell you what you need to do. And this thing says it's recording because my network connection is low. Anyways. Um, I'm hoping that this thing will continue to record. Can can you hear me? Can you see me? Anything? I don't I don't understand why there is no network connection. But um I'm gonna end this video. But keep in mind that I am not going to continue to answer questions like that um and make accommodations for people who make dumb decisions because we have a business to run. And we have um, packages to send to people that order, know what they want. Um, it, and so that's the way I have to go. I don't know what's wrong with my network right now. I don't know if this is even still recording. But I'm about to post this and I'm about to go and finish getting ready for my flight. But I'm, I'm a little fed up and I'm a little tired.